Hey, Happy New Year's! In today's video, I'll be showing and talking about two full body sculpt blockouts I did in one and a half hours using Blender. These aren't finished sculpts, for now these are just blockouts, but the end goal is to have two fully retopologized base meshes that I can use in future projects. Okay, let's get to it. Firstly, I gathered some references from Pinterest and had some of those images open in PureF. The modeling process is pretty much the same for both of the models, which is why I'm showing them side by side. I started by adding a cube. I then added a subdivision modifier and set the subdivision level to 2. From there, I shaped the cube a little bit to match the shape of the head and then duplicated it to make the ribs, waist and hips. Then I shaped the objects to roughly match the shapes of my references. I had a little trouble with the shapes of the male figure, but not so much with the female one. I wonder why. I then duplicated the head again to create the legs and added a mirror modifier to it. I then scaled the objects to match the entire length of the legs and separated the object into two different objects one for the upper leg and one for the lower leg, and then adjusted their shapes to match the references. In the female version, you don't see a side view reference, but I did have a few side view pictures open in PureF. You can see that I had a separate object for knees in the male model, but I decided not to do that for the female one because it seemed to give me trouble. For the arms, I duplicated the upper leg and shaped it. Just like the legs, I separated the entire arm into upper and lower parts. Again, I had an easier time adjusting the shapes of the female model than I did with the male model. The bigger shoulders and arms in the male figure was quite tricky to figure out, especially with the A pose I put them in. The neck is also a part that I find to be quite tricky. I used two objects for the neck, one for the front part and the other for the trapezius muscle that also connects to the shoulders. At this point, I started to wonder if it's better to adjust the shapes in sculpt mode or if I should continue doing it in edit mode. Next, we get to an artist's nightmare. The hands. The process for the hands is kind of similar to the rest of the body. I added a cube added a subsurf modifier, and adjusted the shapes. I first modeled the entire length of the hand, including the fingers. After that, I separated all the fingers into separate objects and adjusted them. Honestly, I dread this process, but I think it gives me somewhat decent looking hands. The hands obviously could be a lot better, but this is the best I could do. After I was done modeling the hands, I adjusted their scale and put them in the right places and added a mirror modifier. After I was done with the hands, I moved to the feet, which are equally tedious to model, to be honest. I did not even model the individual toes, and the shapes of the feet also look pretty wonky. I think you can tell I'm not a foot guy. I also made the volume of the chest for the female model, because those are kinda important, I think. Finally, after I was done creating the shapes for the whole body, I moved to sculpting them. I don't think there's too much to talk about sculpting. I mainly use the grab brush to push and pull the shapes into something more representative of the forms I was sculpting, trying to get the bony landmarks of the body and some shapes of the muscles and fat to look accurate. I think the biggest challenge for me is getting the cylindrical and softer forms to look right. So the parts like the legs, arms, glutes, and the female chest are something that I find quite tricky. By the end of it, I was quite happy with what I made so far. This is the work of only one and a half hour, and I will be spending more time on it, refining each body part in the coming weeks, and I will try to show them here on YouTube. The plan is to practice sculpting a different body part each week and then refining that part of the body on these characters I made in this video. I'll try showing the models I make for practice, but I'm not too sure about it at this point. In a few weeks, I should have two complete characters ready to be retopologized. Anyway, this is all I have for today. If you have any opinions or suggestions, let me know in the comments below. Also, I've been trying different editing styles and stuff for my videos lately, so let me know what you think about that as well. Other than that, I hope you have a great day and I'll see you later.